वेलकम टू डिजिटल कम्युनिकेशन प्ले लिस्ट आई प्रोफेसर रितेश धोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू ब्लॉक कोड फॉर रिपीटेशन कोड इन दिस सेशन सो इन दिस सेशन वी आर डील विथ टू अंडरस्टैंड ब्लॉक कोड कैटेगरी विथ रिपीटेशन कोड वेर वी रिपीट इन्फॉर्मेशन बिट मोर देन टू टाइम्स टू करेक्ट द एरर वेन वी रिसीव डेटा एट रिसीवर साइड सो आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू ब्लॉक कोड फॉर रिपीटेशन कोड बाई दिज आउटलाइंस where first we will see definition and basics of block code for repetition code after that i'll explain you one example of block code for repetition code regarding encoding as well as decoding so both of that process encoding and decoding that is what the case which we are deal with to understand for block code for repetition code so let us begin this session with first agenda that is basics and definition of block codes for repetition code so see these are the codes that repeats information bits two or more times so here we are deal with to repeat information two or more than two times right that's why it is referred as repetition code so they are a block code in which parity bits are set equal to single information bit and if number of parity bits is it is n minus 1 then code is referred as n comma 1 so i'll give you one example so it will be clear like see if i say 3 comma 1 so it means one is information and total number of bits is 3 so parity bits are r is equals to 3 minus 1 that is 2 and here parity bits are not even and odd parity parity bits are repeating information bits right so here parity bit is not used for even and odd here we are repeating information as a parity bits so let us try to understand that by one example so it will be more clear now see we have an example of 3 comma 1 repetition code so when we talk about 3 comma 1 repetition code and if you compare that with block code of n comma k then n is equals to 3 and k is equals to 1 means information is equals to 1 bit and redundant bit or one can say parity bits that is r equals to n minus k so that is 2 so here parity bits that is 2 and information bit is 1 now when you do encoding process of repetition code at a time here as a parity bit we repeats information right so that is what we need to take care of so let us try to understand this by encoding process so here in first column i'll explain you information bits that could be 0 or 1 and parity bits that will be repetition of information bit and resultant will be code word that is a combination of information and parity so see if information is 0 parity bits should get repeated so it will be 0 0 and total code word that will be 0 0 0 that is what we are deal with to transmit and if information bit that is 1 then parity bits will be 1 1 you can see and the resultant code word that will be 1 1 1 see this is what the case which we do it in case of 3 comma 1 if you have 4 comma 1 in that case there will be three parity bits so information bit will be 0 and parity bits will be 0 0 0 so total code word will be 0 0 0 0 4 zeros will be there here i am giving you example of 3 comma 1 in that case there are two parity bits right so information and parity bits that is what combinedly we are transmitting and this is what we are repeating that's why it is said as repetition code now let us try to understand how decoding is been happening so in decoding process we do decoding based on majority word decoding now at the end you will get to know like how to do majority word decoding simply we can say like number of zeros if it is more in that case we can say received is zero bit information and if number of ones are more in that case we can say received bit is one bit information right so that is one as information so let us try to understand that by received data and how we do decoding decision and what will be my output data and at the end what will be information so if my received data that is 0 0 then we can directly say there is no error in received data as code word is 0 0 0 so my output data will be 0 0 0 only and as per that majority vote will be zero as all zeros are there so information will be zero again 
But what if there is one bit error in reception of 000? So there are three possibilities. There can be error in this bit, there can be error in this bit, or there can be error in this bit. So you see, one time I have received data with one bit error over here, one bit error over here, and one bit error over here. In case of transmitted data is 000. So over here, if you compare this with 000, then one can say there is one bit error. So here, as per majority vote decoding, majority is 00. You see, there is one one and two zeros means majority is 00. So we can say my majority decoding that will result into 000 as output data for all three cases. And my information bit will be zero over here as per majority vote, right? In case of one bit error, we can say that like this. Now in case of 111, if you receive that, then with respect to this code word, we can say there is no error and my output will be 111 as per majority vote and information bit will be 1. But what if I have error in any one of this 111? So there could be 0 over here or there could be 0 over here or there could be 0 over here. So that is what the case which is happening in case of one bit error, you can see. Now in this, if you do majority vote decoding, in that case, you'll be finding there is one bit error. For this, there is one bit error over here. For this, there is one bit error over here. For this, there is one bit error over here. And as per that, my output will be 111 in all three cases. As per majority vote decoding, number of ones are greater than number of zeros. So majority vote will be 111 for all three cases. And that will result into information is equals to 11 in all three cases, right? So that is what the case which we do by having majority vote decoding. But how to do that mathematically? So for that, one can clearly see majority vote of V1, V2, V3 that can be done by I is equals to V1 dot V2 plus V1 dot V3 plus V1, V2 dot V3. So you can check out that by one example, like see 110, that is what the case which we have. So 1 dot 1, that is 1, plus 1 dot 0, that is 0, plus 1 dot 0, that is 0. So 1 plus 0 plus 0, that is 1. So majority vote information, that is 1 over here, right? So likewise, we identify majority vote by having this equation. And uh, that is what true for 1 bit error detection and 1 bit error correction. But here, one cannot have more than 1 bit error detection and 1 bit more than one bit error correction. Like see, for example, if I transmit data, which is 0, 0, 0, but if there are two bits, which is there with error, so that will be resulting into two bit error and that will change your information. Like see, if I say this zero and this zero is getting changed and now this is one, one, zero. So it will come over here and that will consider information is one, but actual information is zero. So if there are two bits, which is there within error in that case, our decoding will be error decoding and we cannot identify exact information. So this repetition code 3 comma 1 cannot be used for 2 bit error correction. Here we can have 1 bit error correction, but here we cannot have 2 bit error correction. So likewise, different repetition codes are having different capabilities and as per that, we can be able to resolve error up to some extent. So I hope that you have understood this and based on this session, I think it will be clear to all like see there are different types of block code which I have explained here on my channel and that will be helpful to you to understand how to resolve block code. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do give your valuable suggestions. The reason is your suggestions are explaining me what is that which I need to do it on my channel so that maximum students can get benefit out of my explanation. So please, please do give your valuable suggestions. Definitely based on it in future, I'll make videos which will solve your queries. Thank you so much for watching this video.